Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Dove and today we're gonna play some Genshin Impact quest. So we're doing the quest and this quest is actually Archon quest and it's called Of the Land and it's Monolith. Is that how you pronounce? I hope so. In the land of Liu by the sea, it sits atop the solid bedrock. That city is Liu Harbor and it has flourished under the protection of its garden Morax, also known as Red Lapis. The Geo Archon you have been looking for, you could now have... <laughs> you could not have arrived at the more fortuitous for, for I can't say that word time as the annual rite of this tension has just begun every year of, on this day Rex Lapis graced this land with, uh, with his prophecy giving quite quite gua let me tell you, I can't even pronounce this some words guidance on the economic path Leo should follow in the coming year oh yeah let's navigate that where do we need to go oh it's down there oh this is gonna be my first quest my first actually quest in uh, in different town. Oh, yo, let's teleport there. Let's go. So we need to go down here. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Ooh. If you wanna find the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Do you know when it is? Do you know where it is? First of all, we need to ask when it is, right? Uh, might be today. Already? My also be tomorrow. All right, Paimon, let's go. Right. About the Geo Archon Morax, did you know the Mora that we use is named after this god? But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. Oh. So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis. Oh, so Rex Lapis. Liyue do. Okay, we need to talk to three different people. So the first one's over here. Lin Langs, yo, owner. He's actually owner. Oh. Right of dissension. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex oh, it's today? bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liu for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liu at Qixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Liu Oxygen? Ooh, Paimon knows this one. Mon's status to freedom as Liu is to contracts. Liu has a strong focus on business and trade. The Liu at Qixing the seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners always say. But true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. Also, Paimon is wrong again. <laughs> Maybe. Is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. Wait, will we ever see Rex Lapis? Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Oh, actually interesting. We need to talk to two more locals. Let's go ask this guy first. Bolai, yo! Oh, he's also boss. You too wish to bear witness to the rite of dissension? <laughs> Me too. We all do. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trend? The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. What's oh, more, ripples. They have ripples. there's been nice. a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has been acting secretly in the shadow. Ooh. She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Can we be rich now? No? Okay. So the last one is Sailor. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? Yeah. <laughs> so think I've lived in Liyue all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> oh, he's a new like tier. Oh. Locals never visit the tourist spots. I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. Hey, so he's new here? Where do we go if we want to see the Rite of Dissension? Mm -hmm. You're not at all close. Not to mention that even if I gave you directions, as foreigners, you'd get lost along the way. So, better head to Yuji. Wait, it's really that far away? It's the highest place in the harbor. 
Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no? Oh, wait, how, go to, where do we need to go? Oh, there. Wait, how can we go there? Oh my god, we need to go up there. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we just need to climb over here. Oh, actually, is there, I think there's a way over there. Oh, wait, it's over here. Wanna give it a try? Pray and make a wish at Yun Terrace. Okay, so we need to. Okay, so the first wish is over here. Hello, place in in case in the can can sensor cancers. What are we gonna do here? Oh, uh, you also want a little adept eye luck too? Yeah. <laughs> Seems you know a lot. I mean, I just want to be rich. Time is sure to get you the <laughs> blessings of both the adept eye and Rexalapis himself. I've already made my wish. So you can take this. Great, thanks. Oh, let's, let's use it. I wish I could find my sister. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yo, I'm talking about getting rich. I literally ignore my sister, man. I actually forgot about her. <laughs> yeah. I hope I can find her. Oh. All right. So now we're gonna get sister now, right? Imagine sister just spawn right now in front of me. Your first time in Liga. Yep. Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liu Shixing. Oh! Those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. That's actually the first time seeing her. Like, okay, I have her, but that's actually like my first time seeing in this game. Oh, yeah. Not if that sure makes sense. Know, but most Not that I'm using her. Appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take the... What are we gonna wish now? I wish I could get some lead from the Geo Arc. No, I don't care about that. Come on. I wish I could get some money now, right? Your wish has come hey, true. Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Hmm... Who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take? But I hope it's not gonna be long. It's gonna be annoying. So let's go to meet. Oh, maybe we can. You and Paima wait for the right of the. Okay, we just Whoa, wait. Look at all the people. <laughs> we gotta get up front. We can't see squat back here. Come on! Oh my God, Paima, we're losing everything. Um, hello. Oh damn, she's kind of scary. <laughs> Wait, what the, the hell? Upon us. For a second, she was scary. <laughs> hey. Hey. Damn, that's sick. Um... Uh-oh. Oh no, dragon! You see that? What's gonna happen? Rex Lapis has been killed. Seal the exits. What? Isn't that God? He just died? What? What's going on? Did she just say Rex Lapis is the Geo Archon is dead? Oh no! The Millilith! Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Paimon's freaking out! The killer is amongst us! Wait, we got close. Are we suspects? Wait, where are you going? It was a god we faced up against when we first arrived in this world too. We can't fall into their hands. I mean, wait, I'm actually getting confused now. Wait, how did he die? Oh no, there's a whole bunch of soldiers out there too. Your identity. Um, you may not be the killer, but we can't let them get you. Oh wait, we actually need to... Can we even get out of here safely? Wait a minute. We actually need to be sneaky. Oh no. Oh, we should go... Oh, let's be kind of go here. Ooh, let's go. Oh, that's a bro. Why he must be there? He can't see me. <laughs> let's be sneaky. Okay, we can go up here now. Nope. 
Ooh, clothes. That was clothes. Um, anyone here? No. Okay, we're gonna play safe. Ooh, that was, you know. Oh, no, what you doing? You're too close, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? There's nowhere to run. Hey, buddy, hold still. Hey, buddy, hold still. Who is that? And why is he? Ha why are we killing them? Hello? Stop! Stop! Wha Come what's through. happening? Huh? Weren't there friendly awards? They were not even our enemies. I mean, they were for that second, but they're not bad guys. Pyron's exhausted. Just what most of this magic of floating is exact. <laughs> so insensitive. You have no idea just how tiring floating around. Wait, who are you exactly? Call me child. Ch okay. Child. So we're supposed to dote on you? I'm gonna call him Keith. <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Senora? Child? I think we did. You're Fatui, one of the Harbingers! Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, that woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Yes, help. Why? I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay. Well, you're, you're kind of a bad guy. Kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? <sighs> I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already used to it at this stage. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Northland Stay Bank? Here isn't an option. As the old Leo was saying goes, the walls have ears. Huh, I swear to God, he, he, why, he, why did he kill the gourds? That's really bad. Here? No, actually we need to go higher. Ooh, oh, it's over there. So this is Northland Bank. Oh, Vlad. Oh yeah, that guy. I think I remember that guy. Northland Bank. Correct. This bank was opened here in Liwa by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liwa is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> here, let me give you this. What do you mean, give me? Oh. Uh... Is, uh... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep oh, the sigil. an illuminated adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Gwaili Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Dweyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the adepti. They really believe that? Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems all right. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. Justice? The Chi huh. Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. No, also money. Seeking out Come the on. Assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. You think they're trying to hide the true corporate? You think that quicking, quick X? I can't even say that word. Did it and they are trying to pin in it on someone else? Um, do you think they're trying to hide the true corporate? Probably that is. Or to hide something else. 
Hard to say. Even hmm. now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long. But the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version Chi of the first. If there is anyone that is can not Chi Sing, okay. Can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. All right, teacher of permission. Oh hell yeah! Oh wait, that's really far away. Whoa, bro, wait, that's really far away. We can just teleport to the statue of the seven. Easy and bang. Oh, Gustin. Oh, what's happening here? And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Cast. Damn, he look actually sick. I was sent here. Please take a look at this. Yeah, I was sent. Wait, yeah, I was technically sent here. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, traveler. What business have you here? Actually... It's the assassin. They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Uh, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. We're gonna fight them? No, come on. Wait, why I'm burning? I'm definitely fighting? Wait, you're not gonna take it. Yo, sorry guys. Um, I really don't want to fight you guys, but if you really wanna help me there, then I guess you're gonna die. Anyone who wanna... You just wanna fight me. You will die. And you're gonna die, everyone. That. Oh, my that. Oh, there's more coming. Oh, wait, that's unfair, man. We need to defeat many of them. Bro, they're pretty dangerous. Especially they're level 30. Alright, what you got, everyone? You don't have anything on me. Also, my Q ability is going so fast, so that's actually crazy. It's utility and the last three people. Yeah, that's the last three people, right? Yeah, the last guy. You're getting a slam right here. And he is that. Okay, is that it? Ooh, let's go. We did decrease takes your purpose, traveler. Well. Don't tell me there's gonna be more. Preposterous. Preposterous. Uh oh. Well, you are cheating. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the rite of dissension and then place suspicion upon the attendee? Hmm. Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, Lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Where, sh yeah, where should Mountain I go? Mountain Shaper. Mountain Shaper. Container can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. Ooh. All right. Wangshu. Go to Washu Inn. Where is that? Do we see it in the map somewhere? Or right, let's navigate the Wangshu. Oh, actually, it's pretty far away. Let me see what's the closest one. 300. Oh, they're pretty close, I think. I'm gonna go last this one. Let's go. Custion of Clouds. Well, yeah, let's just go there. Ooh, let's teleport there and let's see what over there. Ooh, lake. Oh, that's a beautiful lake. Search for a cloud retainer. So what we need to find here? Hey, who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Ooh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Rex. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. Yeah, he but does. Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... Hmm... <gasps> That's it! When Mooncarver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. <laughs> 
we I will say Barbies. Dishes for the Adepti. We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky yummy <laughs> rose? He probably will open the best dish out there. All right, look for trace of food offering. All right, what do we need to look here? Examine trace of cooking. Oh. Here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paimon bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Oh, okay. All right, let's check the next one. Oh, we also got a new recipe. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, so the second one, so the second one is over here. Lotus, hey! All right, I will take that. Definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Okay, wait, did we got another recipe? Hey, javelin soup, let's go. Oh, this one's pretty empty. This one's got bad feeling. Oh, the ground is covered in flour. Yeah. What a messy, what a chef. messy chef. True. Hmm, seems there's meat in this pot. But Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepta? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. All right, more meat. Ooh. All right, so first of all, we need to learn. Wait, can we learn them from here? Yeah, first of all, we need to learn them. Wait, I didn't even recipe monster hash brown. All right, so let's let's learn everything here. Let's make some food for that cloud retainer. Offer offer javelin soup. Wait. Oh wait, I okay. So we need to make javelin soup, mora meat, and matsutake meat rolls. All right. So first of all, let's make mora meat. All right. Let's eat this. Okay. Let's make that. Cook. All right. We have one. All right. So the next one is javelin soup and easy. And the last, I think it's Matuke meat rolls, right? Yeah, let's make that one. And I think that's it. So let's actually go back and see if we got everything. Hello, we have some opening. Okay, confirm. Confirm. And the last dish. Hey, let's go. Teleport waypoint. Wait, we just unlocked something. Ooh, what do we have here? What's happening? Visit the adapters abode? Ooh, let's go. Let's start it. We don't need Pyro. And I'm still recommending Pyro, but... <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Is there any end? Wait. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. Ooh, look at this place. Oh, yeah, so, bro, we actually need Amber. Oh, no. A <laughs> challenge fell. No. Bro, how I can tell if we need Amber or not? Come on. I mean, the, it's saying recommending Amber, but they should at least, like, say you actually need Amber. No part in current. Like, come on. All right, so we need to use Amber on this. Ooh, enemies. All right, let's destroy these guys. They're actually tough. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's some more? No, don't tell me. You know, now everyone dead. Everyone will die. What ice guy? You can't do nothing. Bro, why that so tough? Come on, only... This... Oh, wait, there's another spawn? Oh, come on. So he must be the last guy, right? Just die already. And we're gonna use E and he's dead. Finally, man. All right, now we rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. What's the best option here? I think clockwise. 
right? Oh, we are rotating that. Oh, yeah, actually, it actually doesn't even matter. Oh, that, that's sick. Alright, so we need to now go forward. Ooh, it's like a puzzle game, actually. And that's actually enemies here. Alright, come on. Can't do nothing. Oh! Well, he actually launched me down. Wait, I need to destroy these guys. They're the most dangerous one then. Damn. That was actually, bro, actually scary. Wait, it's saying me. Oh, wait, there's still enemies. Wait, where are the enemies? Hello? Is he down here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He was hiding. <laughs> no. Can we still save? Just die. You know, I don't care anymore. Let me first check what is on that iron at first. There's no way for you to get up there. There's a wind current when you need one. Oh, so we need to go over there. Alright, so we actually need to go over there. Now this night three is actually important. We need to do clockwise. We should go that way. Yes, let's go. We need to use the amber here. I think we need to do something first. Oh, we need to use that. Start challenge. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I think I see what we need to do. I have three elements in order. Easy! That's how we do it. Oh, wait. We need to do it twice more. Ooh. Give me the next level. Okay. The mid one. Okay. The right one. The left one. Okay. Easy. First one is this one. The second one is this one. The third one is this one. And the last one. Bam. Easy. All right, second quest, uh, chest, open. All right. All right, we only have one more. Okay. Easy, easy. It's so easy, man. Number one, number two, number three. Why are you giving me 75 seconds? It doesn't make sense. A challenge complete. And we got the precious chest. Hell yeah. Give me all that loot, man. Oh, now there's actually... Ooh, okay. All right, now we're gonna use on... Uh, yeah, counter clock twice. Now we should go back. Yes. All right, let's glide. Let's see what's up, up here. Oh, now we can turn that around. Uh, doesn't matter where we uh, rotate. Ooh, some more fire elements. I think we just need to power these guys. Oh. All right, we unlock chests. There's no enemies. Um, chests. Oh, the chest was buggy. Or right, let's rotate that. Oh, I think that's the final. We can now make it. Oh, yes. All right, we make, we finish the puzzles. All right, what do we have over here on that island? Oh, it's a bird. One is most impressed. The path that Damn, leads look at her. Defies those of ordinary abilities. Look at her, how she's flying. You is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. Did you pull this whole place? Did it sound... Wait, why do we need to add that? You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms. Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop? Oh, damn, that music. It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things. One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. You explain what happened, all right? Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous Damn, she's as to be unbelievable. 
One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Excuse me? What? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously going to wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. But that adept are torn to play the city. Aren't you supposed to play the people there? Yeah. It is as you say. But if Rex Lapis has indeed been murdered, then Liu is in great peril. To oh, delay no. in quashing the threat is to invite further disaster. It is precisely because one does not wish to see further suffering that exceptional measures are deemed necessary at this exceptional time. Yikes! Quick, you gotta think of something. She wants to squash Liu at flat. And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing. You accept our offering. That makes this a contract. Exactly what Paimon was gonna say. We made oh, our okay, Paimon. food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liu out, not wipe Liu out, or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion. After the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself, the people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. What? Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligation. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. <sighs> Rex Lapis infused these sigils with a deptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once. Okay. Um, that was weird. Hey, Adventuring Club 25. Damn, already? Let's go. Or right, now I'm kind of scared. Uh, you know, she's scary, man. If she want to destroy that, that scary man. So now, now let's go mother of, let's go navigate that. Let's see where that is. All right, let's go. Let's teleport that. Oh, do we need to talk to that guy? Uh, leading. I think we seek out mountain shaper. I think we need to talk to that guy. Let's see if that says. Mercy, oh mighty Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. What's wrong? Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers. Sent here to rescue me and my brother. What no. is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. Fair enough. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber, it swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti. And this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, at long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti Jesus messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Yeah, let you know, let's help him. Thank you, thank you. Oh, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I promise that we will never be so foolish again. All right, now give me money. <laughs> All right. I was going to ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Yeah, we're going to do it later. So he said that Lee Dang 
gang got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and oh, yeah. make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. All right, so we should go follow this path, right? Yeah. Wait, can we break that? Oh no, that's a peak. All right. Another pig right there. Alright, let's go back because I think we need to actually destroy this em is it amber? I think it is. Oh purple slime. And you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. Oh bye bye. No. <laughs> oh poor little guy. Oh he's actually dead. Hey, we found him. Okay. Alright, now you're gonna all die. Alright, what you want? Oh Li Dang, yo, what's up? He's coughing? Oh, yeah. What he was... you, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He's one who sent us looking for you. So he's safe then? Yep. Thank you. I hope he's still I safe. I to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. All right. I think we need to go back up. Yo, brothers. All right. Now I saved your brother. Thank you for rescuing my brother. Oh, mighty messengers of the illuminated. Adopted. Oh, mighty messenger. Have you ever seen the adopters here? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an adeptus living in Mount Hulap. Regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys. Your Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes. Thank All right. Bye bye, brothers. We might see you maybe well, sometime in future. Super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers, because it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so. Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Ooh. Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment. Punishment? What do you mean punishment? Yo, what do you mean punishment? I'm just friend. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. Oh, come on. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti, but your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait, we can explain! Hey, look at this. Uh, Mooncarver sent us, I guess. Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Wait, is that actually really rare then, that we have? One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. You explain what happened, yeah. Rex Lapis. Oh no. He gonna not right of dissension? He now gonna break everything, like he gonna destroy the world. What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Can someone explain the Amber situation to me? Can. Adepti oh, no, Paimon, stop. Powers and storybooks. Seems it's true in real life too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. 
There must be something similar going on with the amber. Amber must be crystallized adapted, it grow so it's rain adapted tears. Your nonsense knows no bounds. <laughs> this amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the karst crawler. The majority of the Ooh. plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. Oh, After taking okay. up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Oh, okay. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. Huh. All right, so we finished this quest now. Now we only have one more. All right, where do we need to go that? That's really far away. Oh, we need to actually go here in this uh, town or city. Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu in. Compared to Joy and Karst, this place seems basic. Are we really going to find an Adeptus here? Let's take a look. <laughs> sorry, I'm uh, sorry, Paimon. <laughs> I'm not too rush. I guess he's not here. <sighs> yeah, the view of uh, on this star is actually pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Everything may not be as it appears. Oh, wait, him? A sigil of permission? Ixao? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself. Doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti. Nor can your blood carry this level of adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. I don't wanna leave. Well, actually, if he say leave now, then we should leave now. Wait, we came here to... <laughs> uh, he already he left? Peeved. All he does is think about himself. Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. <laughs> oh, no. But if you take off an adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to a deaf guy. Okay. Wait, is that it? No, actually, that's not it. Hello, are these things you would elusive dress sense? Definitely, you get a typical fashion feature and follow around everywhere by a floating elf companion. Hmm, nope, can't place you. Tell me about that adaptus. Oh, you've already met Xiao. Not bad. Xiao. Not often Is that how you pronounce Chow? God damn it. Bro, I'm so wet with pronunciation. Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue. By so for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. Bro, she's literally moving her mouth and she's not speaking. Uh, super... <laughs> Bro, why do we need to run? It has instead been humans who has let Leo. <laughs> what? The Adepti have Leo hidden away of, on the outskirts. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> she doesn't know anything. It's not boss lady, it's just... Anyway. Boss. Seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, Things should be okay. Well, that's gonna be hard. Mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant <laughs> yaksha. True. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm. What do you think 
think you're the best at cooking. <laughs> Bloody spying salad. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sat Yo, satisfying salad is gonna satisfy you the most. Okay, make a delicious satisfying salad. Wait, we're gonna actually make that? Oh no. Oh, bad choice. Can we cook over here? Oh yeah, we can. Nice. Satisfying salad. Oh yeah. Let's make it. And... Hey, it's the perfect... Yo, you can't get perfect than that. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Excuse me, we like an almond Yeah. Oh, come on. This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. It's for the boss. I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But no, you don't. It's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands... I'm... They're not steady. Wait, are we gonna make because, that? Uh, a, a traveler once told me that this inn is haunted. What? And just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. I didn't this see anything. Looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking, even Wong Shu Inn isn't safe. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right. In the name of high-quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. All right, fine, man. You tell him. All right. If he's so scared. Oh, well. All right. What's in the kitchen? It's like normal to me. Doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, um. Uh, wow. It's a Persian ghost. Oh, no. Hello, doggy. All right. Um, yeah. That's actually a ghost. What? Uh, you saw it too. There really is a ghost. What? How could I? Okay, so he's useless now. <laughs> what do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. Yeah, let's just ask the boss lady what is this ghost about, I guess. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the adepti, so as not to be harmed when dealing with the adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. Sounds good, but how should we... Yeah, how can we cast there a ghost? There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once okay. you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same Witness Sigil formation. All right. All right, so first we need to go... Oh, okay, so this is the painting, I guess, they're talking about. View Witness I guess I'm gonna take the book and let's check it out. Ooh, oh, huh, interesting. One a place where you can see the world witness sigil. All right. I think I see what I need to do. So we need to kind of... Oh, how can we do that? Oh, come on. That's it. Ooh, let's go. Come back. Wait, no! Bro, I was sitting there dead and she just disappeared. Oh, come on. Let's get that ghost. Where is she? Where is this little girl? Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Come, come, come. Oh. What's that? She doesn't know when to give up. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Oh, Beyblade. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Oh, run. Oh no. Oh, damn, that's pretty dangerous. Holy shit. Okay. That a ruined hunter. Pretty tough. Also, that one is scary. Alright, you wanna rush? No? Okay. Damn, that move. The... Oh my god, that was sick. Hey, we finally destroy him. Let's go. Finally caught you. Paimon's pooped. Paimon's pooped. Oh my god. Silly Billy 
blame. She's scary. Just stop singing. No, I can't. I can't listen to here. I can't listen. Finally. Rather not, you actually. Come and play. Dusky Ming will come find you. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna play. Okay, uh, please don't come near me. All right, let's go back. Yo, we actually got the ghost, Sen. What? You, you really got the ghost to promise to stop haunting the inn? Yeah. Wow. You really are something. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest. Silkiest bowl of almond tofu. Oh, yeah, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> My hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. <laughs> All right, special almond tofu. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, let's now let's give him to the boss. Where is the boss? Is Bomb there? No, I think it's up here. Yeah, yeah, he's here. Yo, what's up, dude? Here is your food. The best food. You never had that before. You two again. Wait, Yo, chill out. Again. What's this? A satisfying salad, hell yeah. Rick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Will the adapt integration um take over in his role in Lee? Oh yeah. Some of them must take the role, right? Adept I do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question. Hmm? That dusky Ming. She's When conquering demons on occasion. You can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So oh. really? Wang Shuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? Well, it is what it is. Now quest complete. Alright, so we need to go... I think we need to go back to town, right? Yeah. Alright, let's teleport here. Oh yeah, we need to actually go back on that bank. Alright, we did finally that. Returned. How was your journey to Jueyun Karst? Actually pretty long. <laughs> actually long, man. I see. Huh. Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Bro, there are everyone. <laughs> Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you regarding the Archon's passing. The Liu Qixing's response really has given me food for thought. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Qixing isn't able to keep a lid on things. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts and is also known as the Exuvia prime of the Adepti. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. The Geo Archon spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. This makes things difficult for me too. I agree, something is definitely not right. Oh, right! He's the whole reason we came here! If the Liyue Chising has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone need, then our quest to find the Seven is already over. Oh? You're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? Mm, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But <laughs> I can help you with that too, you Ooh. know. Really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <laughs> Truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. <laughs> 
If you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive until we next meet. Okay. Hey, finally finished that. That quest was too long. Alright, so the X2 is gonna be adventure and level 29. So yeah, we finally did this quest. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to check out my Twitch where I stream Genshin Impact and I'm probably gonna stream also other games. And of course, see you next time. Bye bye.